hello everyone welcome back to my channel i told you i'm going to be doing my food crimes videos every tuesday um the article we're going to be reading from for all the missing black girls and black women is ourblackgirls.com okay just type that in okay so we will be talking about deshwa d-e-t-r-a magraya m-c-g-u-i-r-e she's 23 and roshana r-o-s-h-a-n-d-a she's two Mother remains missing after baby found deceased on highway, okay? Y'all can lose my body if y'all want to, okay? I feel like they both deceased, okay? Um, so let's begin. It is suspected that Deshra Magaya is no longer alive, but that hasn't answered questions regarding her fragile case. Sadly, sadly, this is a story that involves a missing mother and a mother child that dates back to 1988. I'm hearing they was walking. She was walking, okay? She stopped at a beach. According to reports on November the 2nd of that year, Deshra was living in Lake City, Florida with her boyfriend. Them. That's in the um, human trafficking. I'm hearing Mob James, okay? He's already in hell. She's saying yay. She glad, okay? Florida with her boyfriend, Elena, E-L-A-N-A, -A, Muffy, and her two children, Okay? Um, I guess she was living with him with her other two kids, okay? It was a convenient location because Deshwa's parents also lived within the same apartment complex and family was always nearby. She is saying no. It seemed like a regular day when Deshwa was said to have taken her two-year-old daughter, Roshana Magraya, to the store for a brief shopping trip. But the mother and daughter was met with devastating circumstances, Okay. Is how the mother look. I will be putting her picture in the videos. It was approximately 7 o'clock p.m. when Desha was last. She was leaving her job, okay? It was approximately 7. I'm hearing prostitute, okay? It was approximately 7 o'clock p.m. when Desha was last seen leaving her residence with baby Roshana. Um, but just over two hours later, police was called to assist on Interstate 10. A trucker was driving down the highway and noticed something on the road. It is unclear if he collided with the object, but when he stopped, he said, I'm hearing no. He did not run over the body, okay? But when he stopped to see what it was, he realized it was the body of a young child. Another motorist, who also pulled over to help quickly drove to a nearby business to call the police. This is also the baby, Roshana. Okay? Put her in the video too. Reports states that the girl later identified a Roshana had a broken neck. She was strangled. I heard the baby was strangled. Several physical injuries, road rash, and bruises. So maybe they did run her over. Not the people that found her, but maybe them. When emergencies respond, or they probably dragged her across the road or something, or around on the concrete or something in their home or something. When emergency responders arrived at the scene, baby Roshana reportedly didn't have a puss. And while life-saving efforts were attempted, she was sadly pronounced dead at a nearby hospital. A cause of death has not been shared publicly. But some speculated that the little girl may have been thrown from a moving vehicle. Yes, I'm hearing yes, okay? So either two ways, either they threw the baby out or her mother threw the baby out to protect her. Okay, it, it could be possible. You never know, okay? That maybe was her mother instinct to throw her out the window. Because maybe the baby already died, though, okay? I don't know. You never know, though. You never know. She, maybe she did it to save her or something like that. Later, an exact timeline or location has not been shared. Dash was black. Okay, I'm hearing they threw her out, not the mother. Or, yeah. Okay. Dash was black 1988 Nissan Sentra were located in Kamala, Columbia County, the same county at Lake City. It was reportedly abandoned at a hook stop and did not reveal any evidence that could aid in locating Deshra Magaya. Documents also reportedly show that Deshra's boyfriend was not only questioned by the police but was named as a person with interest in the cases and was given a polygraph exam. I'm hearing he failed. Reports state, state that the test came, yes, okay, him too, the night sleeper. Report states that the test came just days after Roshana's 
where Maines were located, and Murphy was said to have failed. However, no formal charges have been made, and no other suspects or personal interests have been named. At the time of her disappearance, Deshra McGuire, the mother, stood 5 feet 7 inches tall and rated 135 pounds. <coughs> She had black and dark brown hair, shoulder length, and brown eyes. Her middle name is Reen Vitoria. R-E-N-V-I-C-T-O-R-I-A. Okay, that's a free name, yes. Deshra had a mold on the right side of her neck and was last seen. That part, she said that's why they didn't want her because she had a mold on her neck, okay? They picky about some people too, by the way. And was last seen, was last seen wearing blue jeans with stripes, a gray shirt, and pink bedroom slippers. Both of her ears are pierced. Anyone with enough information about this case is urged to contact the Columbia County Sheriff's Sheriff Office at 386-758-1376 or their local authorities. The agency case number is 8811031244. They're not telling me where their bodies are located at. The baby was already found, but the mother main remains is unknown. She do not know yet. Okay. Yeah, she's saying. People shared this story about Deshra McGuire to help reunite interest into her missing person case and her daughter's murder. They are our sisters and their lives matter. Okay, so y'all can do that on y'all spare time. Y'all want to help us find her body, the mother? You can, okay? I'm, I don't want no clout off of this. I just do it because it's what I love to do. I don't want no money. I'm good, okay? Um, it's what I love to do, okay? Hope y'all enjoy. I'm out. Peace.